Hello, welcome to Telugu Academy. In today's AP Geography, the district profiles of Andhra Pradesh. So we're going to know about the profile of Guntur district. So etymology, history, demographies, and other related things about Guntur district. So uh, as a history goes, we know that Guntur is one of the major districts in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, mostly it is an educational hub. So, Gundu district is the educational hub of Andhra Pradesh. So, it got the like so many uh, institutes like for uh, medicine or engineering or uh, child accountancy. So, it is one of the major districts in the state of Andhra Pradesh. It became a district on 1st October 1904. How it was formed? It was formed on 1st October 1904. So, uh, we know that River Krishna flows in between the Guntur district. So, river Krishna flows between the Guntur district and Krishna districts. Means, river Krishna divides Guntur district and Krishna districts. What's the water divide between Guntur and Krishna district is river Krishna. So, this is the major water source for Guntur. Even as for Krishna district also, uh, Krishna river is a major source. Even for Guntur also, it's a major source. So, uh, what are the borders of the Gundu district? So, uh, which uh, districts or which water bodies or which states have been bordered with Gundu district? So, to the east, Bay of Bengal. To the north, Krishna and Telangana state. To the south, and Prakasham district. So, Gundu is in between. To the eastern side of Gundu is Bay of Bengal. To the northern side of Gundu is Krishna and Telangana state. And to the southernmost border is Prakasham district. Location. It is extending from 15 degrees 18 minutes to 16 degrees 50 minutes north in latitudes. And from 79 degrees 10 minutes to 80 degrees 55 minutes east longitudes. That is a, they are the coordinates of Gundu district. So, coming to the etymology or you can say history of the Gundu district. So, uh, the kingdom of Prataliputra, they belong to the 5th century BC. The kingdom of Prataliputra identified with the Bhatti Prolu appears to be the earliest known kingdoms in Guntu district. So, uh, historians have identified that Prataliputra kingdom who uh, made it their administrative capital as Bhatti Prolu is the uh, identified olden, oldest this, uh, kingdoms of Gundu district. Inscriptional, according to inscriptional evidences, the king Kubera was ruling over Bhatti Prolu around 230 BC, followed by the Shala kings. So, first was like uh, Prataliputra, they made their uh, capital uh, like uh, headquarters as uh, Bhatti Prolu, and even King Kubera, who belonged to 230 BC, around he was. A rule of uh, at the time of 230 BC, he ruled Gunturu district, making his making Bhattiprolu as his uh, capital, which according to the inscriptional evidences, according to which evidences inscriptional evidences. Next, Gunturu was successively ruled by famous dynasties such as the Satavahanas, Ikshvakus, Pallavas, Ananda Gotrins, Vishnu Kundins. Chalukyas, Cholas, Kakatiyas, Reddis, Vijayanagaras and Kutub Shahi during ancient and medieval times. Almost, almost all the kingdoms, almost all the kingdoms have ruled Gundur district. Like uh, from starting to Satavahanas, Satavahanas, Ikshvakus, Pallavas, Ananda Gotrins, Vishnu Kundis, Chalukyas, Cholas, Kakatiyas, Reddis and Vijayanagaras and the last one or Kutub Shahi rulers. Later several, uh, later several subordinate kingdoms ruled the region. Uh, uh, apart from uh, after this major kingdoms have ruled, small small uh, subordinate kingdoms also have ruled this Guntur district. These subordinate dynasties also indulge in mutual wars, one of which culminated in a famous battle of Palnadu, which is en enriched in legend and literature as Andhra Kurukshetra in 1180 AD. So, 
Apart from those uh, big kingdoms, we came to know that small uh, subordinate king kingdoms also ruled Guntur district. In that very famous war, very famous war took took place that is called as Palnadu Yuddham. Palnadu Yuddham that is uh, like called as Andhra Kurukshetra means Kurukshetra means the war between Kauravas and Pandavas. So that is one of the greatest wars of even mythology or history. You take anything. So it has been compared with that war means uh, this war was so uh, what you say horrific. We can say horrific. It was uh, what took place in the year 1180 AD, which AD 1180 AD. So hmm, after that, again, Nizam rulers have started ruling Guntur. During the period of Nizam rule, the French occupied Guntur in 1750. So after kingdoms, uh, empires, European empires have occupied Guntur in 1750 that to French. Guntur was brought under control of British East India Company by 1788 AD. After French, after French, British uh, won over the French rulers and control of the Guntur district in the year 1788 AD. So, from the kings of Satavahanas till the British rulers, it went it underwent into so many rules of so many kingdoms and rulers. Gundu district have underwent the, in, in the hands of so many rulers and kingdoms. The region played a remarkable role in the freedom struggle. Apart from that, even after British rule, Gundu played a very uh, prominent role. The people from Guntur have played a very prominent role in freedom struggle and even formation of Andhra Pradesh. So there are several opinions on the, so now coming to that is the history of the Guntur. So how the rulers from, uh, what what rulers have ruled that, what what kingdoms uh, have ruled the particular region, uh, Guntur district or Guntur region. Now coming to the name, how the name Guntur have derived, the district Guntur have derived its name. So there are so many the like uh, so many sayings like so many stories. So we'll see one of the story of that. So there are several opinions on the meaning and origin of the word Guntur. So there are so many stories or so many origins and for the meaning and the origin of the word this Guntur particular name uh, called Guntur. The word owes its origin to the words like Gundu. Gundu means a rock. A rock, Gundu, Gundrai and Taunkada. So, Alaga Gundrai, a rock. From that, Gunta has been originated. From this Gundrai, Gunta has been originated. Gunta means a pond. Pond and Cheru and Mata, Gunta lo and Cheru. So, and Kunta. Kunta again. Kunta means is a measure of, uh, it's a scale to measure land. We can say one third of an acre. One third of an acre is called Kunta. So in Sanskrit, Guntur is called Gartapuri, means Guntlapuri or Gartapuri or Guntlapuri. So people say uh, it, it has come from Gundu or like Gundu means a rock, Gunta means a pawn. Next is Kunta, a measure to uh, a scale to measure land. That is one third of an acre. But in Sanskrit, they say uh, Guntur is, was called as Garthapuri, that means Guntlapuri. So, by this, uh, like in this ways, the name uh, and the meaning of the origin of the Guntur has been derived. So, again, the earliest references to Guntur, a variant of Guntur comes from the, comes from, uh, from the iron plates of Amara Raja. So, again, Amara Raja. 1. Amara Raja 1, uh, 922 to 929 AD, the Vengi Chalikyan king. So, the name of Guntur has been uh, mentioned, has been mentioned in the iron plates or uh, inscription. And what is the name Tamra Patralu Antarkada Alanti Vati. So, Amara Raja 1, 
యొక్క ఏది వెంగి చాళుక్యన్ కింగ్ అనమాట అమరరాజు వన్ వాజ్ వెంగి చాళుక్యన్ కింగ్ ఇన్ హిజ్ ఐడోన్ ప్లేస్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ గుంటూర్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ డిస్క్రైబ్ ద వర్డ్ గుంటూర్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ ఇన్స్క్రిప్టెడ్ సో గుంటూర్ ఆల్సో ఎపియర్స్ ఇన్ అనదర్ టూ ఇన్స్క్రిప్షన్స్ డేటెడ్ లెవెన్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ ఏడీ అండ్ లెవెన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎయిట్ ఏడీ సో అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ అదర్ టూ ఇన్స్క్రిప్షన్స్ ఆల్సో ద నేమ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ ఐడెంటిఫైడ్ ద గుంటూర్ నేమ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ ఐడెంటిఫైడ్ సిన్స్ ద బిగినింగ్ ఆఫ్ బుద్ధిస్ట్ ఎపో గుంటూర్ స్టుడ్ ఫోర్మోస్ట్ ఇన్ మ్యాటర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ సో నాట్ ఓన్లీ కింగ్డమ్స్ కింగ్స్ అండ్ రూలర్స్ ఈవెన్ ఈవెన్ బుద్ధిస్ట్ మాంగ్స్ ఫర్ ఆల్సో లైక్ అట్రాక్టెడ్ టు దిస్ గుంటూర్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ they also even buddhist signs were also found in guntur district so since the beginning of buddhist epo guntur stood foremost in the matters of education buddhist established universities in ancient times at uh, dhanya kataka which is called as amaravati and nagarjuna konda so today's amaravati's old name today's amaravati's old name is dhanya kataka in the time of buddhist uh, buddhist times and in nagarjuna konda so they have established this buddhist monks have established the universities uh, universities in dhanya kataka and nagarjuna konda dhanya kataka means amravati today in today's date it is called as amravati at present with many educational institutions guntur leads the other andhra districts in matters of education so Gundur uh, is very much fo- uh, foremost in coming to education. Like so many from all over the uh, state, people like, uh, like uh, they like to make the children admit in the Gundur district for even for medicine, engineering, chadegons, any other uh, professional studies. So Gundur district is a educational even district also. It is leading in education. Next. some places of historical importance in guntu district are amravati nagarjun konda bhatti prolu undavalli caves and the archaeological museum in guntur apart from those like historical places or like amravati that is called as dhanya kataka that was called as dhanya kataka next nagarjun konda uh, bhatti prolu and undavalli caves has their importance and they belong to guntur district so uh, what kind of crops do grow in this guntur district they are like paddy the major crops major crops are paddy tobacco cotton chillies are the main agricultural products cultivated in this particular district so now coming the uh, unique things to guntur what are things which are so unique to this particular district they are like apart from it is an historical importance it has an historical importance where helium was discovered you know where helium is found helium is found on the uh, surface of the sun so we'll get to see helium on the surface of the sun what happened no so guntur is also the historical place where helium was discovered so in what happened no in 1869 in 1869 guntur witnessed a complete solar eclipse for about 10 minutes surya grahanam antar kada so 1869 loni complete ga oka poorthiga 10 minutes kosam surya grahanam guntur lo chusaru anamata so that eclipse attracted many british scientists to the place and so helium was discovered on sun surface so because like people say that because of that solar eclipse they discovered helium in guntur district the britishers have uh, uh they came to some um, conc- uh, re- uh, they've done some research and they came to some conclusion saying like this so th- this is a very unique thing to guntur district and apart from the that there was one family uh there was one family on the titanic ship that is from guntur district only so uh, we have know the titanic ship is uh, like very famous which have drowned in the pacific ocean so one family was traveling in the titanic ship who unfortunately have lost their lives they are from guntur district and next uh, buddhist monks like acharya nagarjuna is said to have discovered mica in this area around 200 bc 
not only in recent periods even in the past in the ancient times also uh, like buddhist the famous buddhist monk acharya nagarjuna have found uh, mica around 200 bc so these are the very unique things to gunto district like one is uh, like discovery of helium helium which is found in only uh, on the surface of the sun and that was appeared in gunto district because of we can say a uh, complete solar eclipse for 10 minutes and next uh, the famous buddhist monk acharya nagarjuna have even found mica traces of mica around 200 bc so these are the unique things for gundur district so other important natural and economic resources of gundur are like we know that rivers rivers are natural resources and krishna river obviously like krishna divides gundur district and uh, like krishna district it's a water divide between these two district even krishna district is the major drainage system for uh, district of guntur apart from this krishna krishna is a major river in this district apart from this other rivers are naguleru uh, gundlakamma chandravanka or the other major rivers in this district so again coming to major crops we have seen already paddy is a major crop is which is grown in this district next is jawar turmeric tobacco cotton maize and chili so tobacco coming to uh, tobacco guntur produces world's most uh, qualitated quality tobacco that is virginia tobacco means tobacco is grown in many areas but quality tobacco is grown uh, it is a world famous tobacco it's grown in this particular district only that is called as Virginia tobacco. Next coming to minerals. What are the major minerals available in this district? They are like ragi, limestone, lead, iron ore, clay, diamonds. So what are the major factories of this district? Andhra fertilizers are very famous. Next one is KCP limited other projects to of guntur district are one is guntur canal and other one is vaikuntapuram lift irrigation Gun, uh, guntur canal and vaikuntapuram lift irrigation uh, are the major projects of guntur district next coming to demographics of population details so area what's the area of the guntur district 11,391 square kilometers is the area, total area of this district. In that population, 48,87,813 people do live in Guntur district. Next, population growth rate is 9.47. It is a very nice percentage when coming to population growth rate. Next, sex ratio. Uh, that is... 1003 females per 1000 males this is also a very good number next one is the density of the guntur district 429 persons is the density of the guntur district literacy rate coming to literacy total literacy rate of guntur district is 67.40% in that, in that male literacy, 74.79% is the male literacy. Now coming to female literacy, 60.09% is the female literacy. And coming to urban population. So how many people do live in uh, urban areas? That is 33.81% means 33% people, if we can say 34% people do live in urban uh, urbans next that means the rest are in the rural zone so rural population is 66.79 percent forest extent of this district 1619 square kilometers is the forest extent what is the forest area percentage total green cover or green cap of this district that is 14.21 percent is the total green cover or green cap in this district Next coming to child death rate. Child death rate is 31%. 31 
so demographics we have seen 48.9 lakh uh, is a, a population in that males 24.4 lakh male population 24.5 lakh female population and literacy 67.4 percent is a literacy rate and urbanization is 33.9 percent is a urbanization now coming to the administrative setup of this district so administrative headquarters revenue mandals panchayats municipalities and municipalities and municipal corporation and other details so we have know that guntur town or guntur city is the administrative headquarters of guntur district so other revenue divisions it has four revenue divisions now coming to towns it has 14 towns revenue mandals 57 revenue mandals mandal parishads 57 mandal parishads municipalities 12 municipalities municipal corporations only one municipal corporation that is guntur municipal corporation next gram panchayats 1069 gram panchayats revenue villages 727 revenue villages primary health centers 82 primary health centers average rainfall is 853 uh, millimeters is the average rainfall next total factories how many uh, this district has 2820 factories this district has next parliamentary constituencies how many mps how many mps from this particular district they are parliamentary constitution uh, constituencies are three mean that means three mps do come from this district how many mlas that means how many assembly constituencies that is 17 assembly constituencies that means 17 mlas come from guntur district next universities uh, there is one famous university name, uh, named on Acharya Nagarjuna who was a very famous Buddhist monk that is Acharya Nagarjuna University. So these are the this is the administrative setup and the other administrative details about the Guntur district. Next coming to land utilization. How much of land is utilized in what way? So the total geographical area of this district is 11,39,100 hectares covered by forest is 1,61,941 hectares when coming to hectares geographical area uh, is 11,39,100 in that forest cover of forest area that is 1,61,941 hectares in that the net zone area is 6,18,398 hectares is the net zone area the total cropped area in the district is 8,9674 hectares. The area sown more than once during the year is means two crops, more than one crop per year. We can say two crops, three cro crops or four crops. So is 1,91,276 hectares is the sown, the area sown more than once. So that was the utilization of the land. Now coming to climate. What type of climate it does have? Uh, we can say it has more or less same climate like Krishna district. More extreme hotter climates only. Uh, extreme climates like hottest, uh, hottest in summer seasons are more. So the normal rainfall of a district is 853.1 mm. The climate is generally warm in summer and the temperature is very severe in Renta Chintala where the maximum temperature in the state is recorded. The a place called Renta Chintala means we can see the highest climates in this particular small uh, uh, region that is the Guntu district means nearly it touches even 50 to the 55 degrees Celsius if the summers are very peak. So, uh, it's a very it's a, it's a warm it has warm climate so almost all this even rainfall is also average but all the time it is hotter or warmer so renta chintala uh, a place in guntu district records the highest temperatures in 
uh, the whole state of Andhra Pradesh. Next coming to natural resources. What are the other natural resources of this district? The district is rich in mineral resources. The principal mineral resources available are limestone, lime conquered and napa slabs. So district is rich in mineral resources. The major one found are limestone, lime conquered and napa slabs. Even copper and lead also, low copper and lead also is found in this district. So limestone is being utilized by the cement factory uh, of Macharla. There are copper mines at Agnigundla of Ipur Mandalam. So this limestone is used in for uh, utilization of making of produ production of cement factories in Macharla region. And next copper mines. Uh, in particularly we can say copper mines are located in Agni Gundala of Ipur Mandal. Other natural resources like the district is rich in mineral. Uh, okay. So now coming to rivers in more detail. The important rivers and rivulets in the district are the Krishna, uh, the Naguleru, Chandravanka and Gundla Kamma. The river Krishna travels about 250 kilometers through the district along the northern boundary of the district. So it travels 250 kilometers through the district and along the northern boundary of the district. So this is all about Gundu district. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you.